three, two, one, go. Hi, my name is Anna Gergi. I'm a dancer with the Stone Nation Ballet and I'm here to show you a very basic stage makeup. So here we go. <laughs> I'm starting with foundation. Just uh, a little bit of an, on a heavier side because we're going on a stage. And just do one layer of that all over. And I know some people like to start with their eyeshadow first because of eyeshadow fallout. But everybody's different, so I always like to start with my foundation and get my base ready. And don't be shy to keep applying. No one's gonna see that texture. <laughs> A distance. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna move on to a. I think it's meant to be a foundation, but it's a bit heavier than what I just put on now, and I use it as a concealer. And I just put it on my fingers, out of my eyes. And it's very close to my natural skin color, so this way I feel like it will like hide more. I feel like if I applied lighter, a lighter shade, it would emphasize it more. And you can put it anywhere else you need, put it on the nose, because no matter how much foundation I put on, I still have a little bit of redness on my nose. Around the nose, just anywhere there's a little bit of discoloration. Because we gotta look perfect for stage. Okay. That's that, and now I'm gonna do some contouring. Because it's important for stage to emphasize your face structure and because of the lights, they're so bright that once you're on stage, you are gonna end up looking like a light bulb if you don't do any gum shading, so it's important. And I just go in with this, it's like a cream stick foundation, but it's a very dark shade for me, so that's good to use it as a contour. And I guess also the placement of the contour depends on your face shape and what you want to shorten or bring out more. So it depends on everybody. I like to do cheekbones more because I have a very slim face. <clears throat> so I like to bring out some angles here. And then the chin and under the chin to create more definition. Also the neck a little bit. I also do a little bit on the nose with a little brush. Okay, a little bit of highlighting. I think highlighting with a shimmery highlight is not such a like traditional belly makeup thing. They usually like to use a lot more matte powders on the face, but I like to shine a little bit. <laughs> Now we need to powder the face. Any powder. And a lot of dancers also do the baking technique where they put the powder under the eyes and when they do the eye makeup and if there's any fallout then they can just swipe it away and it also brightens the under eye but I just don't do it. 
bit on the lazier side. And I think now we can move on to eyeshadow. And basically we're just gonna do a overlay of just browns and creams and this kind of tones. So we're gonna make a very natural stage makeup. First, I'm just gonna dip into a neutral tone here. It's kind of a peachy cream nude. Then I'm just gonna put it all over just to have an all over base for the rest of my eyeshadow. Depending also on your eye shape, you need to do whatever is best. I like to really darken my outer corner a lot and then leave the inner corner very bright and then the outer corner will be very elongated. Also since we're dancing on stage and you wouldn't be able to see the details so much, it's okay if you know we're, if you're in a rush and it doesn't look perfect, it's okay. As long as it's defined and keep layering with an even darker and darker color. Also, since our stage is not very big, we don't need to do a lot of crazy stage makeup. In some theaters, you see girls and boys going full Cleopatra for the stage with the huge eyeliners and then the lines underneath and the white lines and all that kind of stuff. But because we're dancing on a pretty small stage, it's better if we do a more natural stage makeup. Now I'm going with an even darker color. And you don't need to do this sort of layering. You can just go straight in with a deep dark brown and call it a day. But I just like to do it this way. I feel like it looks pretty and clean. It adds a little bit more to the ritual of doing your makeup before a show. Of course, if you're in a rush, you might as well just dip in any black powder and just slap it on. Okay. Now the darkest one, we go and into black. Just a tiny bit. Now I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer on my eyelid. Just doing my finger because it usually works best with powder shimmers. And then you can go back in with the same brush that you use for the eyeshadow to just clean a little bit on this separation here between the shimmer and the eyeshadow to make it more seamless. Then just some eyeliner next which is a bit nerve-wracking. Thank <laughs> you. 
eyeliner done. <laughs> now I'm gonna put some eyeshadow on my lower waterline. And for this, I'm gonna go a little bit less uh, nitpicky. Just go in with this dark color. are pretty natural for stage I'm just going to dry a little bit while that dries I'm going to apply some blush and some more contour Apply a little bit of the little hairline. I think my lashes are ready. And then uh, wish me luck. Attach them a little bit on the diagonal so they're going upwards. So that my eye looks a little bit more lifted. So my eyelashes just kind of blend in with the eyeliner so you don't have to separate like you wouldn't be able to see the lashes. So then when you apply the mascara it all just looks one together and very lifted and elongated. Now I'm just going to finish my face with some contouring powders. Now I'm going to move on to eyebrows. And since my eyebrows are already pretty thick and defined, I'm just going to fill in any gaps and find them just a little bit more. I always have a gap here at the top of my eyebrow so I always need to fill in there. And some people like to elongate their eyebrow a little bit more. I don't know why, it's just a stage thing. And then I'm just gonna finish them off with some brow gel. Just to have to stay where they are. Okay. My mascara and just link my natural lashes to the fake lashes. And you can push them up also a little bit to give an extra volume so they'll look even more lifted. What's nice about putting on fake lashes is that even if you have messed up your makeup or your eyeliner, you just put the lashes on and 
you won't be able to see it. I'll do a little bit more highlighter. This is a powder one. So basically I'm going over all the, um, the creams, contours, and even blushes. If you have blushes or highlighters, I'm going over them with powders. Usually red for sage. And then you can go in with a lipstick or lip gloss or whatever you want. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of highlighter in my inner corner. And that's pretty much it. Stage makeup. <laughs>